uh, students we will discussing two kind of three kinematic problems today so first question I would like to discuss today is uh, the question states like that a particle moves in a straight line according to relation x is equal to t cube minus 4 t square plus 3 3 and we need to find the acceleration of particle displacement equal to 0 now in such type of questions where we have a, we have been given a function we need to use of differential calculations to resolve such type of questions now first displacement is given as a uh, function of time so first we need to find the velocity of it and which can be found using as the di first differential of displacement so dx by dt is equal to 3t square minus 8t plus 3 now the second differential will give the acceleration so again differentiating the above equation we get dt x square plus dt square equal to 6t minus a so this is the acceleration of the particle at any point of time now here we need to find the acceleration at those points where the displacement is equal to 0 so uh, So it is clear that we can find us if we know the val uh, value of t. Now we need to find the value of t where the displacement is zero. So uh, putting x equal to zero in equation number one, which is the given equation. Solving this equation, we get three values: t is equal to zero, one, and three. So at these three times, the displacement of the particle is zero. Now we know the acceleration equation, so we can just simply put. Um, acceleration time in those acceleration equation and we can find acceleration now next question which I would like to discuss is, is regarding the projectile motion so question is, is like that which of the following remain constant during the motion of a projectile fired from the planet option given are kinetic energy momentum vertical component of velocity horizontal component of velocity now to resolve this type of question we must know we must know the basic concept of the projectile what all goes along the way what all what all thing got changed so let's start with that the answer is d horizontal velocity of the uh, component of velocity now, now i will explain you how it is like that see kinetic energy is given as half mv square now we know that velocity changes in the projectile motion so kinetic energy can now be constant second moment again it depends on velocity so it cannot be constant since now since acceleration due to gravity acts during the motion velocity of the body changes throughout the motion so kinetic energy and momentum changes now acceleration due to gravity acts in vertical direction vertical component of velocity changes so here since the acceleration acting on the vertical direction only so the vertical component of velocity is getting changed. the horizontal component of velocity is remaining constant so there is no horizontal acceleration horizontal component remains constant okay now the third question is a graphical question here we need to explain that here is a motion of a particle along a straight line the velocity and time are given in this graph we need to explain the acceleration to the motion okay in these type of questions we need to remember two things when the velocity time graph shows upward slope that means the body is accelerating when it shows downward slope that means the body is retarding when the it's straight line with the time that means velocity is constant there is no acceleration so here is like that so from time 0 to 50 second the slope of the body is increasing slope of the body is remains constant acceleration remains constant from 1 to 40 now from 40 to 50 the slope of the graph if you see the slope of the graph is de decreasing So that means if the slope of the graph is decreasing that means the acceleration value is decreasing the body is still accelerating but the acceleration is getting decreased and it becomes uh, at this point it becomes zero acceleration has become zero now going forward from 50 to 60 again now ex body is retarding because the velocity is decreasing but again the acceleration 
if you see the uh, if you see it the acceleration in negative sense is getting increased that the body is retarding at some slow acceleration first and it's slowly slowly increasing and it reaches this, this point 60